Hey guys, this is for CC 10 Whistle, week 10. We're halfway through. We have week 10, 11, 12, and we are done. So um, first of all, start off your class with your expectations, your rules, whatever you've been having them do with their 10 Whistle. Um, just start off with that, set them up for success, because we all know that's very tempting. So, and then I'm gonna start off with review, just because it sets me up for the lesson, because I like to draw all of this out. Um, so I'm gonna be on page 96, week 10 is rhythm. So we're gonna be talking about bar lines, measures, um, let's see, time signature, and just rhythm in general. So um, what I like to do is I start off with review on my blank board, and I'll draw my staff, and I will ask them what this is, and they will say staff, and I will say how many lines does it have? Five, and then I'll draw my treble clef, and I'll ask them what that is. Leave a little space here because I'm draw gonna draw the time signature later when I introduce it, and then I'll just maybe put, you know, like a whole note here and ask them, like, what is that? It's a whole note, it gets four beats, draw a half note, it gets two, so on and so forth. Um, for the sake of time on this video, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but just a quick little review to get the brain warmed up, get in that tin whistle mode. And then um, that starts me off with our lesson. So I'm on the naming portion. It says to pass out copies of the cycle song. And I will do that in a minute. I just like to, I have four year olds and I just like to draw this out and explain it to them so they can see how I'm creating it, how I'm drawing it and their attention is focused on me, not on that piece of paper in front of them. So um, I will pass out the, the cycle song, but first I wanna draw this out and introduce it to them. And then when I pass out the cycle song, we're gonna to point to it and recognize those. So the first one that they want you to talk about are lines, bar lines. So that's a vertical line. And when we do that, it's gonna create a measure. So if I put a vertical line right here, that's a bar line. So it creates this measure right here. I can draw another one right here. And if it was longer, I could just keep going, you know, drawing the, um, the bar lines to create measures. And then we wanna talk about rhythm. We talk about how it's the pattern of the notes. So to get this pattern, what we're going to do is we have a time signature. And for the sake of simplicity and our short time period in class, we only have 30 minutes. And this isn't really much of a music lesson, but more of like an introduction to music theory, just exposing them to that. Um, CC is only gonna keep it with four, four times. So all of our cycle songs are in four, four time. So that's gonna look like this, our time signature. But just so you know, and you can teach this to your class if you want, I, lo I always love to just throw this in there. I let them know that if we have it in two, four time, each measure is gonna get two beats. And if it's three, four time, like a waltz usually is, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's three, four time, and every measure is getting three beats. But we are doing four, four time, and so that means every measure will get four beats. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So basically, it's almost like doing math, really. Um, you don't have to tell them that. I'm just telling you. It's basically like doing math. You have to be able to add, you know, the notes. Um, and fit them in each measure to where it only has four beats in every measure. So once I introduce that, I'm gonna pass out the cycle song. For this example, I'll use the cycle one cycle song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So we'll pass this out and we'll notice here's the staff, oh, here's the treble clef, here's the time signature. And we have these bar lines that are creating measures. And um, we can just take a look at this and they also want you to like sing it together to notice how many beats are in each measure. The answer is four. So you guys can sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star together. You can point out that you know these are quarter notes, so they get one, so that's one, two, three, four. And then you have two more quarter notes, which is two, plus two more beats, which is four. Um, like I said, it's basically really just math. Simple, simple math. Um, so go ahead and point that out. They want you to sing the cycle song together. So you could either, they say that you can chant the ta, like that, like ta, 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 while they sing it. If that's too confusing for your class, you could just count like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, something like that. So that they're, they know that each measure is only four beats, whatever works best for you. Um, and then let's see, so going down to expressing, this is where we can also review a little bit of 
the dynamics. So this is where they'll pick up their tin whistle and um, have them in the proper, you know, left hand on top, right hand on the bottom. We're sitting up straight. There's no elbows on the table. We're not playing like this. And uh, you can go over the parts of the tin whistle, review that. And then whenever we're playing the first measure of the cycle song, um, well, if you can get past the first measure of the cycle song, like let's say your class is really, really good, they can do the whole first line. You guys have been working on that. Then just do the whole first line, whatever, um, whatever you want to do. But um, so as they play each note, count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, just like that. And so uh, if you have four year olds and you can make it through one measure, great. And if that was stressful enough and you're running short on time, you can move on. Or they say that you can play the measure a few times. Um, but if you guys can play the whole song, then that's good too. And so this is where we can review dynamics. You can say play it, you know, in piano, play it in forte. Again, it's kind of hard to do that with the tin whistle, but make an effort. You guys can just review it and try to do it. And then um, at the bottom, they have a tip that says for difficult parts or maybe students that are like having a hard time maybe the four-year-old class or something you can do the be my echo where you play it then they play the measure you play the measure and they play the measure and back and forth to where maybe you can get to the first line or maybe the whole song that way whatever works best for your class then if you turn to page 97 they're wanting to set you up for an activity to copy this um, rhythm activity here at the bottom. It says to pass out the blank staff paper, which they provide for you on page 103, but I don't ever do that. I just give them a blank piece of paper. My four-year-olds did it last week. They drew a staff, they drew the treble clef, they drew the notes, they had a really great time doing it, and parents were even sending me pictures later that day saying like they're at home practicing, they can do it. So I know that they can do it, they're totally capable, but. Um, if you're running short on time or it's just too much of a headache, you can just pass out the blank staff paper. So what they want you to do is to um, basically copy this. So I'm going to do it on my board. I'm going to draw the staff. They're, they're going to draw the staff. And then I'm going to draw a treble clef. They'll draw a treble clef. I'll draw the time signature. They draw. And then we're going to make some bar lines to create measures. And then we can add in some notes. Now, if you have journeyman masters, I used to tell my master's class, you know, draw what you want, draw the music that you want, write the music that you want, but it has to be four beats in every measure. So for the four-year-olds, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm just gonna basically copy this on my board a piece at a time and go over it and say, okay, now we're gonna add a whole note here that gets four beats, so that measure is full. And now here we're gonna add two half notes, which is four beats, and so on and so forth. I'm basically just gonna uh, do a rundown of this. Um, and then they can even take a copy of the cycle song and kind of label the rhythm if you want them to. It's kind of up to you. Um, I always follow CC's lessons, but I kind of, you know, bend it or mold it to what works best for my class or my teaching style. So, um, and then let's see. And then they want you to explain the whole diagrams above the notes, show the students what notes to leave open and to play. So they're talking about this right here, the whole diagrams. You can point that out to them as well and show them what that means. And that's pretty much it. That is our rhythm exercise. And um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know.